So, you know, you're going to hear a lot of this at this year's ASH because, uh, uh, first of all, with BCMA targets, we've talked about CAR T cells. There are other CAR T cell products which are going to be presented at this year's ASH as well. But then there are the bispecific T cell engagers, and there's a whole host of bispecific T cell engagers which are targeting BCMA. Those will be presented. And there's a couple of other targets that we are interested in, and you're going to see data with CAR T cells as well as with bispecifics and specifically the two um, uh, bispecific uh, uh, T-cell engagers include talquitamab and the other one is sevostimab. So talquitamab targets GPCR5 and there's a CAR T-cell product against this as well with really high response rates in excess of 70%. And then there's another bispecific T-cell engager targeting FCRH5. And with that, this is sevostimab, and there's data being presented at this year's ASH with sevostimab as well. And the data with this shows a response rate or in excess of 50%, close to 60%. So and this is in patients who've been exposed to sort of a BCMA-targeted agent. So there is life beyond BCMA, which will be presented at this year's ASH meeting. BCMA obviously is a great validated target, but we are still seeing relapses post-BCMA. So we have to start figuring out what the post-BCMA space is going to look like. And for us to have drugs like uh, uh, talquitamab and sevastimab are great. So targets of GPCR5 as well as targeting um, uh, FCRH are good things, specifically for BCMA post-BCMA relapses. I do think they're going to sort of be used sequentially because the data so far uh, suggests a slightly lower response compared to BCMA. Uh, but the future would also be looking at maybe combining some of these, so combining a BCMA target with one of these other targets so that we get an even better response rates and more of a durability of response. So these would be things which we would consider in the future for, but for right now, the fact that we're seeing high response rates with non-BCMA targets is actually um, an amazing thing for uh, myeloma.